switch up still nonetheless but wario does have the combo game and can just explode on his character with waff just taking out stocks really early those stock that was really hard to do it but i played with munel a lot over the quarantine and his wario fairly unique does go for like its own routes that's good because yeah. A green, especially against Greninja, having like a bit of a flare to your neutral could go a long way because Greninja is really good at shutting down just like really simple options yeah. because of just how good their overall like speed and moves are. So you got to be creative when it comes to you know, shutting down Greninja's space or approaching Greninja. Yeah. So we'll see what, you know, has to show. Yeah, and smart to stand behind the bike because it will eat up most of the shuriken. The shuriken, so it won't hit you. If that bike wasn't there, you would have saw the Shuriken go just a bit further, and Muna would have been forced to like truly shield and have done more shield damage. Yeah. Ooh, two hits. Yeah, you can see Odyssey doesn't is not really familiar in the matchup because it's not able to hit a Muna off the bike, and death right there. Yeah, wow. back is super strong. But yeah, being able to hit Wario off the bike and punish him for that is essential because now Munel knows that he's struggling with it and he gets free bike rides. Yeah, and free bike rides are really good. Can get Greninja into a tech chase and in a tech chase um, position, it could be just that's like what Wario loves. Yeah. With their fast airspeed and combo Nair, they can get so much percent. Yeah, also we saw that um, Munel like had to up be right there and that was because bike has a timer on it. So if, yeah, he's gonna get chased up there. Great job for Odyssey. But Bike has a timer on it, and he can't use it to recover at certain t after a certain t after a screen. You're gonna see him like blink, and now like he gets to use it again. Yeah, I believe it's around a six-second timer. Yeah, at one, it's gone from the screen. Yeah, all right. And this could be huge. All right, full waft on deck. Yeah, full waft. Um, I feel like Greninja's such a slippery character that you're gonna need something like a landing up air to land it, or yeah. to get that walk in. Uh, I don't know I, how you gain that. I'm not sure a landing up air would work, but I do know you can get it from an air. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's probably the best option yeah. Wario can get it from. Yeah, landing there would probably be the best option at a full walk. I'm not sure what else at this percent with Greninja. Okay, but now you see him stuck in a situation, and good Ooh. job, no recovery option. Yeah, that Wario without the bike, pretty rough recovery. And yeah. um, just the quick little shuriken right there definitely shows that um, Ozzy's starting to show some stripes in this matchup. Yeah. Um, despite getting hit by the bikes early on, Odyssey now is just exploiting um, Wario really well and pretty much had him not on the stage for a solid 30 seconds last stop. Yeah, and now you see Adi just playing back. He doesn't want to get blown up. So he's like, Wario does struggle to approach. He really only has the bike and like a few like Nair, jump in there. So it's like you, you gotta chase me now, boy. Yeah, and Odyssey knows that the biggest way he loses this game is getting walked. So everything in his power should be about avoiding that because if you lose your stock here, you can then get comboed to death at any moment. So even though he has a stock lead, he, he does not want to lose this stock yeah. at all. He's playing as if it's his last stock pretty much. Yeah. All right, tech chase? No, just doesn't get it. Oh, Nair out of the situation. Yeah, punishing the jump from the bike now. We're seeing some adaptation from Odyssey. And I'm not sure if we're gonna... This is looking really strong for Odyssey. And I'm not sure if we might see his character change with this. Yeah, um... I definitely wouldn't blame him. It seems like Odyssey yeah. really just got a hold of it by that second stock. Yeah, like, first stock started off so strong, but it started slipping away. And Adi got a pet, like a habit of him doing those falling up airs. You saw Adi just roll out of all of them. He was having no nonsense with it. So. Yeah, but the thing is, when you do, when your other two characters are planting DK against the Greninja, yeah. It's hard to feel too comfortable switching, but that being said, uh, especially Plant, you do have that like constant um, one privilege of not knowing how to fight the characters. Yeah. But, so, you know, Moon out, if you go Plant, they can be thrown for a loop, yeah. but stick with Wario. Yeah, stick with Wario. I could have saw like a Plant switch on certain stages, like if they went like um, Lilac, just trying to like um, do 
the two each stalls and just like getting a bunch of trades right there. Yeah, I, I do respect Stain Wario though because you can see clearly where he went wrong, you know, and if he's able to realize what he was doing wrong, then the character isn't the problem too much, and it's just he's got to brush up on his gameplay. So yeah. if he's able to see how he was losing his lead and how he was getting run over, then yeah. hopefully they can make this a much more close game. Yeah, I'm not sure if he entered a Xeno earlier, but this is one. This is definitely one of his like first tournaments back. Yeah, I, I think I've seen him around, but yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure if he's... I've seen him around. I'm yeah. not sure if he's entered and played in it. But right now, it seems like more of the same story. Odyssey just knowing exactly what options uh, Minel's going to go for in disadvantage. Yeah. Whew. Oh, just barely hitting. Oh, just getting stuck. Yeah, Wario's fallen out of that a few times. I wonder if he has like something weird about him or if it's just some bad luck with Greninja. What? what? A bit of both. <laughs> Alright, Greninja is just so low to the ground. Okay. Yeah, and interesting, Odyssey was using some walking right there, just kind of skirting back and forth because they know Wario is going to land on them with Nair and or a falling up Baron. So they just quickly moved out of the range and punished it so well. Yeah, Adi does like to walk. Um, even when he was like a Fox main, he did utilize walk in his gameplay. Really, really broken, just able to react. Um, to like incomings because you're not hit, getting hit out of a dash. And you just see a bunch of sharking and like remnants of like when he played. Then, oh, oh, that's the drop right there. Yeah, you hate gotta to see hit it. that. But yeah, adding on, shar sharking's just been so uh, clean because um, Adi is able to hit and then put himself in a position where Wario just can't punish, especially on that platform. So, Munel's gonna have to really take like a hard read of what aggressive option uh, Adi's gonna go for, and yeah. then punish it afterwards. A whole dash attack out of this disadvantage. Yeah, and you see unusual options like up smash from coming from Munel. That's just like feels like the desperation coming in. Yeah, now riding the bike back and forth, just trying to get a draw ride in before they go to a better yeah. place. <laughs> Straight into Valhalla, man. <laughs> oh, double down to. Ooh, I think that could have been it with the fair. But regardless, Munel not able to get back into center stage, and Wadi, just, er, not Wadi, <laughs> Adi is yeah. just keeping his lead pressure. Uh, okay, dash attack, not gonna take it. Yeah, but. Let's, let's say Munel is able to take the stock before he loses his own. He will now be able to have like a clean like half wall setup, which yeah, is devastating. He, he does have the advantage of or he, Odyssey not being able to yeah, get this and that's gonna quickly be tough. has been huge. And this is now much more of a game. And I think Odyssey's going to realize that and be a bit safer. Yeah. Yeah, just one good combo. I'll just drop dropping it right there, but able to live. Wario's such a heavy boy. Oh. Uh oh. That's brutal. That that probably would have killed a, almost any percent just because of how trading with multi hits work. Yeah. So something interesting for the matchup. Okay, get a attack. But now it's on the last talk. Now it's like now do you play the choice of do you want to use it here? to even the game out, or do you want to use it on the last dock? He would have to, I feel like if Lunel is going to use it here, it's got to be sooner than later. There's only three minutes on the clock, and um, he would have to wait a minute and a half to even get the half off to get after using it, I believe. So, yeah, it's, um, but, so I think Lunel's best bet is to just outplay Adi first dock, take it, and then get some cheese. But it's not looking like that's happening the way no. Ozzy's been playing. Definitely not. Oh, just hit him out of it. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Clean stuff. Yeah, that was just, honestly, it was a bit of um, Munel not really being able to mix up landings too well and also uh, dropping some crucial WAF setups. I think that if they were getting a bit more off their punish game, it could have been a totally different story. I know they, they missed the up tilt that would have made it almost an even game, or up tilt WAF that if hit would have been almost an even game, that second game. So, and then 
it was also a story of Adi just having such good pressure, such good knowing exactly what Wario wants to do and just moving around it really smoothly. Yeah. All right. See the read right there? Yeah. It's going to take it. All right. We're already getting our next players, Camex and Terraboy. Yeah. 